Skull and Bone Gang, we're the cheapest thing on the street. And it's true. It's just some sweatpants or long johns. They used to dye, we dyed the long johns black. Long handle underwear, dyed black with paint on the body parts for the bones, uh, paper mache, flour, water, baling wire like you bale hay with. Uh, this is a very old tradition. And that's it. Maximum effect with the least amount of money spent on anything. We make these aprons and I made this one last night. <laughs> Sometimes we use canvas, but this stuff lasts a really long time. It also doesn't fade, so it varies in what the material will be. So I use that. And there's a front and back to the apron. The main thing that you really want to be able to do correctly and beautifully is to make the head. So this head is made from some uh, newspaper, you know, Data News, Louisiana Weekly, flour and water and wire. This is a fairly heavy head. It weighs 20 pounds or so. The antlers, I got them in Africa. It's a water buck. And uh, you can see those teeth in there. That's from a 12-foot alligator, cowrie shells. And, you know, this is just how it came in the dream. You won't see it anywhere else. Like, this is like something very specific to the gang I'm in. And I just let that kind of information come to me in dreams. And so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> uh, I just need to make it happen. No matter what's on the street, when, when they see skeletons coming, they either love it, they run to it, or they run from it. Because it's sort of like looking in the mirror. How do you feel about death on the inside? It's a reflection, immediate reaction to that. I want people from far and near to understand that they're seeing a traditional skull and bone suit. They, they call it skeletons, they call us skull and bone, not skull and bones necessarily. But this is one of the oldest traditions in New Orleans. People express themselves to say something, not just for themselves, like, hey, here I am, but this is me and all my people that came before me.